try to lay something down for the streets, you know what I'm saying? For all them knuckleheads, you know what I mean? Um, I guess while I was in Texas, you know, I, I got around what was called the Pan African Movement, and I started learning more about my culture and, and stuff that I wasn't familiar with here, right? Because right. it wasn't presented to me, and, and I come to learn that the roots of hip hop come out of Africa. You know what I'm saying? So that made me study. The, the African arts, the African culture more to understand what I was doing. And um, like a lot of the moves we do is Egyptian yoga, you know, ancient uh, yoga. Uh, uh, a lot of the moves, they, they call them power moves and stuff nowadays. Uh, it's really yoga. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> another thing, um, like I said, I came out in 2000, by 2004, I first went and like started dropping literature. Okay, oh, you know good, what I'm saying? Good. Yeah, yeah. So this is like a brief history of uh, oh, man, that's great. Uh, yeah. LBC Central Virginia Hip Hop. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I was the only one, of course, doing this type of stuff um, in my particular region that I know of. Right, right. I mean, I still haven't found nobody to stuff for it yet, and you know, they share the experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I'm hearing some cats like um, in the Richmond area and. In, in the entire wood area, they got some hip hop materials out and new yeah. books and different stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, definitely not where I'm particularly located. You know what I'm saying? I haven't uh, ran across anybody yet. Mm -hmm. um, so I came out with that to um, pretty much just give a brief history. So uh, then I decided, like I said, doing more uh, community type work and uh, coming out with more books. Uh, came out with another book. Actually, I written this. I came out of a hip hop program okay. um, for my community. By then, I, I, you know, I had a son. He was about, I guess, 11, 12, you know. Mm -hmm. And around the same time, you know, pretty much, I ended up in, you know, in the, in the street culture, so to speak, mm -hmm. so to speak, because you know I didn't really have certain guidance. Mm -hmm. So, of course, he had me there as guidance, but. However, I seen how the community, the way the kids dress, mm -hmm. walk, or talk, they even had pamphlets out about the music they listen to, mm -hmm. um, brands of clothes, that they part of a game. Right, right. And I'm like, wow. And so, really they part of hip hop culture. Right, 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 right. You feel me? So then I came out with this one called The Basic Four Elements of Hip Hop Culture, uh, a Hip Hop Culture Arts. And they just gave you little briefings. I got like, a DVD to it as well. I'm gonna bring in a DVD, I'll get that next time. Mm -hmm. um, but that's the kind of, you know, I went through the community, started explaining more detail, the purposes of it. Like for me, like I said, it was like an escape mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from, you know what I'm saying, with emotions and whatever. I put it all into what I did and came out with something positive, you know what I'm saying? Um, so when I came out with that, uh, I saw I spoke at Liberty. Uh, he saw from my brother Albert Jennings. You know what I'm saying? He introduced me to Liberty University. And he introduced the program over there to the urban ministry. Uh, I was in the streets, you know, going around to different community centers. Uh, I did a couple stuff on different block corners, and people saw I was kind of crazy because. Hip hop, the breaking part hadn't really hit yet. Right. Not back here. Right, this is right. around 2000 and uh, I don't have to say five or six. Okay. 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 It wasn't terrible. It's called Stump the Yard when they come out 2008, 2009. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Around then, I don't talk about. You understand yeah. when Stump yeah. the Yard came out with yeah, the pumping and right, all that? Everybody was like, "Oh, what is this?" Yeah. Right. So they kind of opened the doors to. To what's called stumping and all that, mm -hmm. but still a form of breaking and all right, that. Right, right. Some of the elements, and so I was trying to do stuff. And like I said, when I came back, 2001, 2003, with the kids at, at the YMCA's and all that, mm -hmm. but they was like, nah, you know, that stuff. Oh, you know, they didn't have no faith in it. And right. I was trying to do dance teams and right, stuff like right, that because right. I knew it was coming. Right. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, you know, I was in the '97, '98. 
um, B-Boy Masters battle. Uh, I was in the DMC, you know what I'm saying? I had so I, you know what I'm saying? By me being one of the elders of this thing, mm -hmm. why they don't call me? Right, you you right. feel what I'm saying? They yeah. like leave the cats as real grassroots, because I'm real grassroots right, still. Right, right. They kind of leave us out of the game. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Keep, keep us out of the pictures, so to speak, and that's not cool, you know what I mean? Um, because it's about preserving the history and really passing on the true fact. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, and, and don't leave out those who put in that work. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, especially in my particular area, like I said, if I didn't keep doing what I was doing, I'm not saying it, it wouldn't eventually happen, but you know what I'm saying? But right, yeah. Their minds, yeah, they wouldn't even had it, been right, introduced right. to it, you right. feel me? Cause it's been like forbidden and forgotten. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, without you putting out tapes or showing that right. this is this is this is a, this is a cultural way to express yourself, that you can do right here. Right here, it's not coming. Like you don't have to be from somewhere else. Right. To do it. Right. Yeah, yeah. That was the that was the objective. Yeah. That was the because like I told you, you know, when I put that very first one out, mm -hmm. catch it, you couldn't do. It. Right. Not in this area. Right, right. It's gonna be impossible in X, Y, and Z. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I, you can see, you know what I'm saying? Because I was putting so many cats on, they shared it with their cousins and right, friends right, and so right, forth. Right. So, you know, I can say I, I laid the first seed. Right. Okay. Let's say that. So, yeah, where, yeah. where it spread and had grow. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't know, you know, can't take all, you know. But I can't say that nobody else was really doing it that I know of, that I heard, even heard of at that so, time. So yeah, man, so I pretty much from, from that to then I came, the next one was, I got, like I said, I got a youth program even now mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that I would like to, you know, go to the community, people mm -hmm. hire me for, you know what I'm saying, to call us in and definitely purchase our books. Right, With right. the support, that's how, I, like I said, everything is self-funded for me right now. You know what I mean? I don't really have no sponsors, I don't really have a lot of people you know, supporting it 100 percent because, like, some more grassroots, mm -hmm. and um, and definitely nowadays, you know, well, now doing this, I call it this, 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 this shift. Everybody is looking for seeking knowledge now, mm -hmm. more so than you know in the 90s when I was right. too early 2000s right, right. and stuff like that. Now we're in that, that age of seeking mm -hmm. and looking mm -hmm. for truth. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's why I came out with the basic origin of roots in hip hop culture. Okay. You know what I'm saying? From kings to gangsters. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? How we, you know, dealing more, like I was telling you earlier, when I went down to Texas and I started getting part of Pan African. And because, I, believe it or not, man, I used to have to come up here to like um, G State, Norfolk State, just to find anything to do with African history mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or black history. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I couldn't find nothing in the local libraries, even the colleges down in my oh, area. Oh, wow. okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And we talking about before the internet now. A lot of people might say, well, why don't you just get on the internet? Right. You know, no, no, no. We talking about some real research. We go to the library, you know, go through the indexes right, and right. try to oh, find man. what you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, some real research. Yeah. But you can find it. Right. So, you know, I had to travel way up here to these black colleges and mm -hmm. stuff mm -hmm. to even really be introduced. Mm -hmm to uh, North Carolina, go down there, NC State, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And you talking about now, like, like I said, 95, 96, so like um, So that's why I came out with this kind of brief history, John. Mm -hmm. um, to kind of, you got to understand culture from, from all aspects. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when we become a lost culture, a lot, you don't understand yourself. So that's why we, you know, my opinion, you know, view, we doing a lot of stupid stuff now that. Don't have certain respects. Don't understand. Uh, like when I was coming up in the streets, like they call us gang. They call us. I understand the media called us gang. You feel me? When we was on the streets, call ourselves the first tribes. Mm -hmm. We talking about early '80s. Then mm -hmm. we went to clans. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know, like X Clan over them and stuff. Mm -hmm. We started ourselves clans. Then we went to posses. Mm -hmm. um, that was all up until about '90. And then we, they started talking about the gang thing. I was doing mm -hmm. after the, doing the drug war. Right, right. right. <laughs> you feel me? Uh, uh. And they was doing the time of Easy E and NWA mm -hmm. coming out with mm -hmm. these lyrics. Right. To to label us as this. You right, know what I mean? right, right. So it, it really, um, on the street level, 
Nah, we ain't looked at each other as that. We did call ourselves like a posse or a clan mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. But we were more like brotherhood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If you, you know, around us and stuff. Right, right. Versus what's going on now. Right. So, you know, it's, I'm pretty much briefing who I am and where I know I'm putting it in the night. Like,